Okay, part two for simplifying rational expressions with Mr. Rops. And Mr. Co. And this time we are going to multiply and divide. Okay, right. First up, we've got 12, sorry, 5 twelfths divided by 25 over 4. 25 over 4. Okay, so one of the, one of the things that we've learned in the past is when we divide fractions, we really change them to multiplying. So I take 5 twelfths. And I'm going to change divided by multiplying. And to do that, what am I going to do to this second fraction if I change it to multiplying? Okay, so we have to flip it over. So it's over 4 over 25. All right, we get our reciprocal here. We flip it. Now, oh, I don't want to do that yet. Now, if I think about these, what can I do with this step here? Okay. Well, essentially what, what we can do is we can, we can simplify one from the top and one from the bottom, right? Okay. All right, so um, 4 goes into 12, so... If I look at these two, I can make the 4 goes into 12 yeah. three times. Yep. Yeah. 4 goes into 4 once. Because yeah. 4 over 12 is the same as 1 third. Okay. Similarly, if I look at the 5 and the 25, 5 over 25 is the same as 1 fifth, because 5 goes into 5 one time, and into 25 five times. And so when I put these together, I go 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 5 is 15. So I actually multiply straight across. Okay, yep, right. looks good. Let's see what happens with some expressions, shall right. we? So what, 3x over x add 2 times 4 brackets x add 2, all over 9. Okay, so when we look at this, we have things we can cancel out. If you notice, I have an x plus 2 here, and an x plus 2 here. If they're on top of each other, x plus 2 over x plus 2, here's a little bit of a scribble, x plus 2, what does that quantity equal to? Okay, so it's something divided by the same thing, so it's 1. The 1. So because it's 1, I can scratch those out. Okay. All right. And so, then the 3 and the 9. Right. Similarly, if I have a 3 and a 9, this 3, 9, and the 3, if I simplify that, I get 1 third by scratching, making this 1, making this 3, 1, and a 3. And so when I multiply across, I get 1 times x times 4. Okay, 4x. 4x. When I do the bottom, I get a 1 here, times 3. And so that's 4x over 3. Okay. Which is the same, believe it or not, as 4 thirds x. Same thing. Yep. That x exactly goes the on the top. All right, another one to try. What do we have? Ooh. Not quite sure. Is it, is it all of that? Yeah, square root x plus 5. Over, over 14 mm. brackets x minus 2, two all, all over, over negative 2 brackets parenthesis root x, x add 5 over 7. 7. Whoa. Wow, that looks really complicated. It does. It does. Oh, man. What, what was I thinking? All right, but this is an important line here because I have a fraction on the top and a fraction on the bottom of a fraction. That line means divide. So what I can do is I can change this from dividing, I can change it to multiplying. So I can say the top is x plus 5 over 14x minus 2 and I'm going to change it to multiplying. When I change it to multiplying, this bottom has to flip. Flip it over, yeah. Reciprocal that baby. So I get 7, negative 2, square root x plus 5. That looks nice, so we're down to two lines at least. We are, we are. So now, what do I notice about this term and this one here? Okay. What do we notice about those? Well, you can see they're the same, right? And so they make a 1. I can scratch those out. Yep. Right, let's tidy it up a little bit. Let's see what we have. 
getting rid of that, I have now a 7 over a 14 times an x minus 2 times another negative 2 here. This times, okay. times, and times. Well, what do you see, Mr. Cole? Well, 7 over 14 looks like a half to me. Right, that is 1 half, so that cancels to 1, to a 2. And so the top is simply 1. Yep. And we can multiply the, the numbers, right? So 2 times negative 2, negative 4. Right. 4. Over x minus 2. And that, so let me write, so I could write, that negative sign could also be written as negative 1 for x minus 2. Okay. Or you could even go 1 for x minus 2 and put it like kind of in front of the fraction. All those three are the same things. Any one is correct to put as the final answer. Yep.